Jonathan's 2.1 trillion went to private pockets, while Buhari's 6.1 trillion naira went to Tucano. Kiamo. The presidential spokesperson of the Tinubu Shatima 2023 campaign, Festus Kiamo, while responding to questions raised by the presidential spokesperson of the Atiko Koa 2023 campaign, Danobwala, on Trust TV had said the money spent by Buhari on security is verifiable, while that of Jonathan is not, Festus Kiamo said. And again, he said we have spent 6.1 trillion naira in security matters. When Jonathan spent 2.1, where did Jonathan's 2.1 trillion naira go to? It went to private pockets. It went to elections. Where did our 6.1 trillion naira go to? It went to Tucano Jets. It went to equipment. So go and take statistics of equipment in the store now and take statistics of equipment in the store during Jonathan's time. There was no equipment during Jonathan's time. There was no equipment at all. Let me tell you people about the operation of this equipment before they sell equipment to you. Your international, you know, sellers and will tell you that these are the rules of engagement. If you use them against human rights, they will not sell to you again. Okay, first of all, this is a problem. So fine, if you spent... 6.1 trillion naira times four of what Jonathan spent, but you know, is untraceable. Why haven't they defeated Boko Haram and insurgency? In fact, can you say that that 6.1 trillion naira was used to pay bandits at some point? These are questions that we need to ask. So, on the topic of what is traceable and what is not traceable, we are judging your spending based on the results you've achieved. And so, was the spending worth it? Exactly. Because not even, what, two, three, four months ago, we heard the news of how uh, 50, was it 50? So, yeah, 50, about about 50, yes, and soldiers were laid off because they disrespected or they did not follow orders. When really, when they gave their explanation, they said that they ran out of equipment and what to fight. And yet, when they reported that they needed more weapons, they didn't give them weapons and what did they do they put them in the front line and the soldiers like you know what we're not gonna fight any person on the front line without anything to defend ourselves and so they chose to leave and so when you have stories like that several stories like that it's not like so what equipment did you actually spend money on because if they're complaining that they didn't have equipment at all or they went of good quality then what results did you achieve exactly you did not achieve anything even with the money that you spent on security so while i'm not trying to defend jonathan in fact anything if anything you use the fact that jonathan must have spent so much money and you call it untraceable to get into power in the first place so you're literally doing the same thing to pdp uh as you're getting you know as you're doing to them again because that's how you got into power and you think you're going to remain like that and that's the thing it just shows that you are the same you use the same tactics it's just the same thing. So if you are trying your best to convince us that you are so different, well, try again because it really isn't working. There was no equipment during Jonathan's time, yet he fought standstill and they could not spread from Bono State. But Baba, with all the trillions and unused to Kano jets, we don't only have Bukharam, but bandits, kidnappers, looters, unknown gunmen, Unknown priests, unknown soldiers, unknown police, unknown government, and unknown country. So please, can you tell us the usefulness of your Tokano when bandits are ravaging the whole nation? Okay. Do you know that all liars will go to our fire? I mean, I don't think they do, but thanks for the reminder. Um, I thought you were better than this. So this infrastructure can change your moral, your once moral ethos the blame game minister well fact check one without tucanos in security state in borno with tucanos in security spread all over yep very very true so camo you fought security issues with two one two point one trillion you see the problem is i don't see what the point is in i get the other spokesperson of the party campaign but really it's like you're, they're using them to do... Like, listen, we need 
a debate. We need a conversation. Whatever you want to call it, an argument. We need it to be between the actual presidential candidates. Because you using your people to answer questions for you, it's... who. Yes, you're going to be part of the team. You probably advise us, whatever your position will be. The fact is, you're not the name. I am not the face of the PC or PDP. And for the fact that you're using the same tactic shows why you should not even be voted for in the first place because it is the pride of how you have taken over in the past that you're using the same tactic to pretend to compete against each other. It is not working. It is not working. So whatever plan you have in a normal country, these two parties should not even be contesting because they're just pound compounds and pounds and bulk of evidence against them. That just shows why they're incompetent, why they're corrupt, and they should never be let back. If anything, they should even try. That's the problem. In situations like this, you see parties or, or organizations trying to hide their dirty laundry. But in this case, they just put it out there. And we've established a system where no one is held accountable. So if anything, they're even more comfortable to put statements out there that should really be incriminating and, of course, damaging to their reputation. But if anything... It doesn't do anything. And then what now happens is in Nigerians in will engage in conversations as if it's so more between two celebrities when really it's about our futures and literally if they don't fit the they don't fit the standard, you just cut them off and you focus your time on parties that have ideas and that I can work with. But in this case, pretty much pretty much, you know, unproductive conversations. This son is the most lying son in the country after his information counterpart. I just wonder how this country ended up with the characters like these people. Well, we ended up with characters of this like of these people because from the beginning no standard was set and things and you know heinous crimes will be committed and no one will be held accountable. And the people who thought their vote didn't matter and thought the country was useless and there was nothing to do to change the country would just engage in conversations and not do anything about it. That is how we got into this situation today and we got leaders of this character. And then even the culture of the country, corruption is everywhere, even to the smallest of transactions. Corruption is everywhere. So we've built a, we've built a country uh, that, that its culture is based on corruption. So that's how we got here. And we ourselves may not want to admit it, but... We have been enablers of this government to keep violating us. And that's how things get start getting worse. But what I think about it is in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.